Zumi's prayers, living bashful. We all had wondered how to be the friend of God, how to be whom to know. The mild and gentle were trampled and robbed on the highways of the world. What if we did not want to inherit the earth in our time then, but now? Heaven is the unseen greatness and is by these poor possessed. The calamities of life draw the necessary blood. A man came to us offering his bread, dipped into the chalice of his blood. Those who follow the Lord are quiet but are not blind. We have feelings too loud for words and too shy for the world. It is our desire to pour love and life into everything. We all carry multitudes of primal decisions, yet wishing only to sit in contemplation. Life is this messy montage, an unbalanced. We must be water flowing, flexible and soft, subtly powerful and open to the world, wild and serene, able to accept all changes, but still led by steady tides. These tides are the drawing of your Holy Spirit. Nevertheless, there are drawbacks for the bashful. We are always half mad, feeling misunderstood and voiceless. The blending life of disappearing into the background unnoticed feels safe but brings depression. Blame will be projected onto others because we do not articulate out of a manicured shame the crevasses of our life. Also, it is a product of esteem, low esteem. We sometimes dream of being wild, fancy and outrageous, but hold back. We have secret ways of learning and improving, and our secret is always that is a secret. Some geographics we have taken to see if, in a different place, we would be different, but we're not. Introvert factor number one, we love our alone time. It will surface no matter where we are. Our friends are few but closely held. Never do we step out to be the center of attention, too easily embarrassed. One must suppose and sensitive far beyond the norm Knowing also this, no one is normal once you get to know them. Our eyes speak bashful tenderness, wanting like anyone only to be loved. Yet so obviously aloof, the world draws back from us. And is there fear that to gain place in the world requires losing a part of myself? We are accustomed to ourself, only ourself. There was that period of drunkenness and wild dancing, now far back on the horizon. Ultimately, we will write, our story must be told, and told in persons and ways that do not appear to be us. Deep down, we hoped to draw attention, to make everything okay. What is it we find that everything is not okay, and that we are still scared? Then perhaps atop unnoticeability we become poor. We are on the brink of disappearing. A false persona will be tried, arms wildly thrashing in the maelstrom. Which of the seven dwarves is most endearing? The seeming innocent one, not wanting to be sought, the bashful one. He had a virgin sidelong looks of love gentle toward the distant, merciful toward the absent. Was not this our Moses? Was not this the Lord? He had drunk the warmth of thirty summers, the meekest man of all the earth. And now, to go out upon the world, at Cana's feast by power divine, inspired cold water with the warmth of wine, See, cried all, a reddening tide has gushed. The bashful stream has seen its God and blushed. Thus did you come public be, a meek and humble man. All souls recognized the secret, bashful self they wished to be. 
Then out upon the world, too torturous and fierce, you barely survived, did not survive. Yet, yet legacy is left to us. This is how to be a human being. Amen.